Is your website loading too slowly? In this video, I'm gonna show you the number one reason websites load too slowly and how you can go about fixing them to make your website run like a Ferrari. All right, in this video, we're gonna have a look at the number one reason your WordPress website is probably running slowly, and that is, drum roll please, images. Images are usually the biggest killer of websites, all websites, WordPress or otherwise. And we're gonna have a look at a quick way to figure out whether your site is suffering from these problems, and then I'm gonna give you a few tips on how you can fix it. I'm not gonna show you the full process of fixing this because it can be quite complicated or time consuming depending on how your website is set up, whether you have a developer involved, whether you have the skills, but I'm gonna show you how to test it and see whether you need to fix it and then the steps you'll take to fix it, at least the simple version. So you're ready? Let's jump right in. So I've actually taken a website here from Chris Ducker, who's one of the top marketers out there and his website is beautiful as you can see. I'll scroll through it and you can see how nicely designed this website is. And I thought this website is designed by a top developer web designer and it's not going to have any problems but I was surprised when I ran a test on this and I get this with almost all my customers and even friends of mine who have websites everyone makes this mistake the pictures are too large they're not compressed and basically your website loads slow as a result so I ran his website through my favorite testing tool webpagetest.org that's actually a tool backed by the developers at Google. So this tool really gives you a ton of information. But what you're really looking at is this water flow, or sorry, waterfall result here. And you wanna click on one of these waterfalls when you run the test, and then you scroll through and you see all the files loading. Each one of these little bars is a file on your website that's being loaded by the browser. I'm not going to explain the mechanics of how all that works, but basically your website is made up of 50, 100, 200 files. And every time a page is opened, all these files get loaded by the person who is trying to look at your website. And the more files and the bigger those files are, like images, the slower that's going to take for the person who's clicked on your site. And the easiest way you can spot problems here, one of the ways you can spot problems at least, is the length of these bars. If these bars get really long, then potentially, unless your website is lightning fast, you've got a problem. So if you see long bars, you want to investigate them. And in this case, we're looking for the purple ones. The purple ones are images and we're looking for large purple bars. And as you can see here, I can see at least two. The top one up here, and then there's a couple down here, a bunch of three or four. And if you click on these bars, it shows you the details of the image. And what we're looking for is this line here, bytes in, that's the number of kilobytes, the, the amount of size that that file is. And this one is 122, which is potentially large, depending on what the image is. If it's a full width, detailed image with lots of complexity in it, lots of little bits and pieces, then I would expect that to be a reasonable size. But actually I've looked at this image and it's a small picture, half the size of the screen or less. And it's actually quite a simple PNG image, which should be a lot smaller than this. I'm guessing this image should be 50 kilobytes or smaller. So I downloaded this image and this is the image here. And that's the size of the image. And as you can see, it's a relatively complex image, but it's not a full width image. It's actually quite small. It's actually about a quarter of the width of the page. So this image should be a lot smaller than 120 kilobytes. I would expect that for a large image. And so what I did is I ran this image quickly through a test a compressor that I use called Kraken. And if you look here at the numbers, and I'll just zoom in here for you, just make sure you can see that. I'll zoom in a bit more. And you can see the numbers here. This file came in at 122 kilobytes. It compressed it down by 78% and it's come out the other side 
as 26 kilobytes. So I've saved nearly 80% on this image size just by compressing it. I haven't resized it. I think it's potentially the correct size already. That's another problem, that the image could have been too large physically, too large for the screen. And if we download this image now, which will open it up in a new tab for us, actually I can see that potentially this image is still maybe a little bit too large. I would have to download it and check the size of it to make sure it's the correct size for the place I want to put on the website. But we've already reduced it to 26 kilobytes. And as you can see, it's still looking pretty damn good. So if we scan through and look at some other pictures on Chris's website, we can see that this picture here is taking 2000 milliseconds to load, which is two seconds. So milliseconds is thousand seconds or thousandth of a second. So we were looking at the thousands here. So that's two seconds this is taking to load. And this picture is 600 kilobytes. And if we have a look at this picture, I'm gonna open it in a new tab for you. As you can see, this picture is actually, I'm just looking at it here visually. You maybe can't tell this, but this is about a third to a half width picture. So this picture again should only be about 70, 80 kilobytes, I'm guessing just from my experience, and it's 600. So this has been way, way, way uploaded, way too large. So this needs to be compressed at the very least, if not reduced in size and compressed, depending on where it needs to be. So that's just a tip for you guys. I'm not gonna go through the whole process of resizing and compressing images, but Basically, if you go to webpagetest.org and drop in your website and choose a location from the list that is the most common location of your customers, whether it's in your country or another close by country, run the test and then you go and check on the test result and then you click on these waterfalls and then you scroll down and you look for the purple bars. So this is another one that I was running from another test. It's actually Cookie and Kate. They have a far bigger problem, but I won't get into that. So I'm pretty sure if you test your main pages, your home pages, your service pages, you will find that pages with a lot of images, the images are way too big. If they're more than 100, 150 KB kilobytes, you, you generally know you have a problem unless it's a really complex picture like this wide one here of these people at a conference. That I would expect to be about 150, maybe 200 at a push. But this picture is one color, it's orange and black. So it's probably not, not gonna be more than 200 kilobytes. I had one client recently with a big picture, really complex, lots of colors, and that was 230 was the smallest I could get for him without ruining the picture. So that's just an estimate for you guys. You're looking from the 50 to 100 kilobyte range for all your pictures. And if you're not getting that, then you want to be looking at resizing and compressing using tools like here, like Kraken.io or a compression tool on Photoshop, or you can use an online tool uh, like Pixlr. I'll just show you that quickly. Pixlr is another tool I use. You can use this. It's one of the best tools I've found. It uses Adobe Flash and you just upload, resize and compress your pictures and they usually come out really, really good. So give that a try and see how you go. If you've got any issues, this is one of my specialties. You can certainly get in touch with me at madlemmings.com or comment in the video below. I do SEO and speed and mobile optimization for all my clients when I work with them for SEO or website design because this is my specialty and I can get websites down from five or ten seconds to two or three seconds, sometimes even one second. And this is one of the biggest things I do, images. So give it a go. Let me know how you go and don't forget to subscribe below if you want to see any more of these really cool videos on this kind of stuff. So see you in the next video.